the graphic footage but I want to share this with you because not many quail owners show it that's a female and in their vigor the males of bloody sculptor now usually the birds will recover um, I've obviously separated her into a little cage by herself where she's got food and water uh, hopefully she'll respond She'll get better soon, but I did want to mention that because like I say, I've never seen anyone else talk about it And I know from quail forums it certainly happens folks. G'day folks, Andy here from McDowell Manor So this is the top cage, um, I'm, I'm pretty confident most of these birds are male, so unfortunately fellas I only need three of you. This is the middle cage, this was most, supposed to be mostly girls, um, this is where that injured bird was, which is probably why I got taken so much by surprise. Well, they're not dead calm but they don't fight so yeah I really am surprised clearly one of these is a male uh, I, yeah I don't know I'll sex them sometime soon and this is the bottom cage it's mostly girls as well so I had sorted them roughly by colour but to stop violence, I did a little bit of mixing around. That seemed to make things a bit better. Um, so I give it a little while. They're getting close for me to be able to sex easy. Um, I don't like to do it by feather pattern. I know you can, but it's too bloody hard and confusing. Um, so I'll do it by bench sexing. And like I say, unfortunately, the bad news for the quails, but good news for me is I only need three boys and I'll take the biggest three. So it's the end of the day. She's made it through day one. I'm happy to announce. Overnight it'll be a big one because it's a bit fairly cool at the moment. But she is drinking. Um, so that's important. And that wound's not weeping anymore. So I'd say that'll probably heal up. Usually scabs over and heals up pretty nicely uh, the big test will be tomorrow folks poor little thing so this is lunchtime the next day uh, we've made it through the worst folks my prediction is she'll be fine thank you for turning your head and showing us it's looking a lot better love she's a bit shivery but it is coolish um, isn't that great so she's eating and drinking and looks like we're on the mend so there's a good outcome uh, but I do want to show you that because it doesn't happen that bad very often but it certainly does happen so be warned I just separate the bird um, give it a bit of love and attention check on it regularly if it gets starts to get pussy looking then hit it with some salt water um, and maybe some very gently, very watered down uh, antiseptic cream. Uh, but you've got to watch those antiseptic creams and stuff because a lot of them are actually poisonous if they eat it. So there you go, folks. She survived.